Hey, what's going on guys? Sean or Mustang09 and we're back in my garage working on the F250. That is right. We got some parts. I don't know if you can tell, but that says SPE Motorsports on it. Uh, this is their internal uh, catch can kit and it's gonna remove our CCV filter. I purchased a new filter, but come to find out they changed out the filters in 2017, I believe was the year. Um, so this old style of filter no longer works. I'm hoping, uh, Maybe I can get a return on it, unless one of you guys need it, but uh, this is the old style of filter. Um, the one in there now doesn't have those same kind of filter pods anymore. It's a little bit different style of a system. I'm at 82,000 miles now. I think they recommend changing that filter out before you hit 82,000 miles. I don't remember the exact mileage. I know if I say it, I'll get corrected in the comments, so go ahead. Somebody down there can write what it really is. Watched a couple videos online, so I feel like I'm pretty well versed but there's nothing like educating yourself and doing it and then you'll learn exactly what it takes. So fingers crossed it doesn't take all night long. I heard it takes about an hour and a half uh, when I'm videoing. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. First things first, we get a list of instructions. Um, one is for the CCV and then one is for the internal catch can. Inside of your kit, mind you, I have the SPE internal catch can and I went with the stock length of hose. They do offer a longer length of hose that goes to the back of the truck, but my plan is to find a catch can that'll fit this hose type or the side, the diameter and run that underneath my truck. And I'll just change that out every so often or I'll drain it every so often. But for now, this is just gonna vent to atmosphere. You have all of these really nice billet parts um, that go onto the kit. All the O-rings are obviously included. Here is that cheese grater piece once again. And you know, these guys just kind of line up like that and they have their O-rings that go in there. This is a block off piece. You have the hose clamp for that. And then you have your hardware for this block off plate and then your internal catch can. Once again, this is SPE Motorsports. I have no affiliation with them. They just have great reviews. The parts look extremely good quality. Very nice. This is all billet aluminum. Once again, it's really heavy duty and uh, really clean looking stuff. So now it's time to go in there and install this. I had to come into the kitchen. My workbench outside is just completely dirty. Uh, I've been slacking on cleaning my workspace and I need to do that extremely bad. But back to the garage so we can install these beautiful parts on the truck. So on the instructions here, it calls to uh, loosen the clamp and disconnect the charge air cooler, which is this pipe right here. I'm gonna try and keep that on. I watched a video online of a guy do it. Made it seem pretty easy, so we're gonna go with that. So we're working right here. There is a rubber boot, or like a little plastic kind of boot that I took off. That I took off. Next, I'm gonna put a screwdriver in underneath here to prop this up, and then turn counterclockwise, and it should pull this hose right off. So I fiddle farted with this thing long enough, and it just finally broke. The tube itself broke on me, which I guess isn't the end of the world because it's off, but. Let me show you this. I ended up taking off just the one side of the intercooler piping, but look down in there. Look at this. That's horrible. Look inside that intercooler. It's disgusting. This is why we're doing this modification to hopefully rid this from happening again, or at least minimize it. Um, so now that that's off, um, I did. So the few things that have transpired since I videoed, I unbolted this it's stuck on over here didn't want to fight with it too much so i got it off i loosened it back there it's actually probably about to pop out of that boot i unplugged this plug right here um so now we'll move on i'm kind of pissed that it broke but i mean i think it's all part of one piece for the new filter anyways so it doesn't really matter i think we got to remove the fuel lines and then we got to remove uh thinks we'll go from there. We'll remove the fuel lines and the filter and uh, move forward. Fuel filter is out of the way. Uh, what do we do next? Next, we're going to remove the oil filler neck or the filler tube. Uh, it's one bolt. It's an eight mil. So we'll loosen that up and get that out of here. All right, guys, I'm going to show you where this next bolt is. So if you look right where my light is shining, there's a bolt back there. It's really tight. It's a 10 mil. We took the one off the front up here. There's a 10 mil on the front and it goes right there. So now we're gonna give this our best shot. Oh, I thought I had it. 
It's like so close. Let's reposition the hand. Got it out, boys. Holy cow. So there's two. I think we've got only one more, I hope. I hope there's not another one in the back. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Try and show you this. There's a bolt that goes in the front right here. One that goes between these lines right there. So what I did is I just unplugged this fuel connection here. And then there's the one way in the back. So now I believe this thing should be, should be loose. Oh, there goes the other part of that hose. All right, guys, I screwed up. There's actually four on here. There's two in this very, very back portion. And I, I knew that I just forgot. Uh, the one I showed you earlier was the front one. There's one further back and it actually wasn't too bad. I used a swivel socket, a 10 mil swivel and got it on there and broke it loose. And then I'm just doing the rest by hand and it's almost done. There we go. Fourth one is off. Bam. There we have it. The CCV filter is out. And mind you what I said earlier about it being difficult. It's difficult, take your time. Uh, it's a lot of little movements, but it's not impossible. If I can do it, you can do it. Have confidence, four bolts, it's not too bad. Somebody's calling me. I'm gonna ignore that for right now, but uh, this is out on to the next part. Alrighty, we've got the box out now. Um, thankfully, I was watching another video online and I gotta give this dude a shout out. Um, what is his name? Channel name is Results Will Vary and I'll link that below because I, I owe it to this guy. He really helped me. Um, we didn't communicate at all, but I watched his video, which is kind of funny. I'm making a video, but I'm watching a video, but it's kind of like my overall experience of being a first time diesel owner, showing you guys how it really works. And he also does a really good job of it. So shout out to him. Uh, he made note that on this box, you have your injector information. So a good thing to do is to take a picture of that and store it somewhere or print it off and have it in your truck so you have your injector data um, for your F-250. A lot of different numbers on there and you don't wanna lose that stuff. So I'm gonna keep the box because I'm a hoarder. So I'll have it, but I'm also gonna take a picture of it and make sure to print it off and then just stick it in my owner's manual. And then I'll probably also write them down in my log book of my truck. You guys know I keep my mileage and all that stuff, oil changes, rotations, all that jazz, fuel, fuel filters. Uh, I, I log it really, really strong. Um, so I'll put that information in there. All right, so as you guys can tell, that thing is full of oil right there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe down uh, the mating surface of the back one. And then we're gonna install our drain back plate first, which is just this guy right here. But you wanna make sure you install the O-ring on there and then put a little bit of that oil that you see right there around it, just so that it seals up real nice and tight. And I know this oil is super black. I'm taking this thing in tomorrow to get its oil change. I've stopped doing it myself just because it's so much oil and it's a mess and I can just pay someone for just about the cost of doing it myself. Put that guy on and it will bolt her down. In the kit, you'll have three bolts. Two of them are the same size, one's a little bit shorter. This one will take the shorter one. The longer ones obviously go in the back because we have the two parts from SPE that need to be installed. All right, so this front one is a five millimeter Allen head. All right, I couldn't get that other one to quite fit how I wanted to, so let's go with the good old Allen wrench. And it's already pretty tight, so I'm calling that one good. Do not forget to install your O-rings, guys. These are a critical piece of uh, this kit. I know it seems redundant to say that, but it's the last thing you want to forget to install. I wonder if we can get so lucky and these will be uh, the same five millimeter Allen wrench, we'll see. Yes, sir. With those parts on, the next thing we need to do is install the hose back there. And that will run behind the brake booster and down behind 
the uh, driver side wheel well of the truck. So I completely botched the catching the oil with my pizza box. That sucks. So I'll have a mess to clean up there. But to the hose, you can tell I ran it up in there and I found it in the engine bay and then just ran it behind the brake booster and over to the nipple on the internal catch can. So now we'll install the hose clamp on that. Uh, and mind you guys, I misspoke earlier when we were in the kitchen sh looking at the parts, the hose clamp actually goes on the hose to the nipple. So let's do that. The final piece of our install will come with this rubber cap here. We're gonna install it on that guy right here. That guy is on there and it is a vacuum. So there's not a ton of fear of it coming off. However, the zip tie that I just dropped, we're gonna put on there. So I gotta find that zip tie. Ah, oh, this guy. Just like that, our clamp is on there. Now I believe all we have left is to put back what we took off. Which in theory sounds pretty straightforward. So here goes nothing. I think we've done it. Uh, intercooler pipe is back on, or hot side pipe is back on. Uh, fuel lines are back on, they're all fitted. Uh, this sensor is on, this fuel line's on. Everything is tightened down. We have our cap on, fingers crossed. We got it all. I picked up all my tools out of the engine bay. Take these instructions off. And then we will remove the light and we'll prime the system six or seven times since we removed that fuel. And uh, hopefully it starts up. And then also, uh, I know we lost a little bit of oil, but I don't think it's anything uh, significant. It's pretty negligible. And also I'm getting an oil change done tomorrow. The one thing we haven't done is finish routing our hose. So I need to get underneath here and look at that real quick and find out where we're gonna mount that for the time being. For the time being, this is how I'm gonna have it. I do have a catch can that I took off of my Mustang. I'm just not sure if that fitting will fit this odometer or this diameter. Um, so if it does, it'll be a perfect fit. And I'll just have to find a way to mount it up here, probably on the frame well or something, um, get it out of the way. But temporary, this is how it's gonna be. Um, so it's just zip tied up pretty close. And uh, yeah, you'll see a little bit of smoke coming out and maybe a few drops of oil, but nothing crazy. So we will go and cycle the, the fuel filters, get those filled back up, and we'll start the truck. The truck is running. I see no leaks. The fuel filter. Up underneath the truck, the hose is here. I can feel air flowing out of it. Uh, it's dry still, but the truck's not very hot uh, and I don't see any smoke or anything of that nature. So right now it's just venting the atmosphere. Everything is back together. I'm gonna go take this thing for a spin. Um, yeah, nothing seems to be leaking. So we'll get her warmed up and see how she does. Well guys, we just took her on a drive. She's up to operating temperature. Everything appears to be fine. I checked it halfway through the drive, popped the hood, nothing seemed to be leaking, so we're good there. Let's jump out though and look at it now that it's up to temp. See what this looks like. Now that it's up to temp, you can definitely see a little bit of what looks like smoke, but I think that uh, it's kind of chilly outside, so I think most of that is just from that. Um, another thing, sprayed oil everywhere. I need to clean this up really good. Right there, that is a mess. So I need to wipe that down. Overall, the install wasn't too bad, man. Um, you know, I'm a bigger fella. Uh, fingers are a little chunkier than others, but I was able to do it. So I'm telling you right now, if I can do this, I promise you, you can do it. Um, just take this as uh, a helping hand, this video. Uh, I hope it helps someone out once again. Um, shout out to uh, the other channel results may vary. I'm gonna link his video down below so you have a couple of variants to watch and uh, see the discrepancies in our videos and uh, how we did it 
our own ways. Um, other than that, man, uh, truck is looking good. Uh, I'm happy to have that done. I've kind of been sweating that uh, just because I know that CCV filter isn't the best. Uh, I know that it's upgraded version, but if my truck can run cleaner, which I believe this system will help it do, then I want to install those parts. Once again, no affiliation to SPE, paid full price, had to wait, 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 and wait some more because parts were back ordered. It took quite a long time, but they were very nice. Um, they did keep me updated somewhat, um, kind of iffy on the updates, but uh, got the parts in, got them installed, and now we're taking care of our truck. It needs to be washed, but I'm planning a big trip going whitetail deer hunting in Nebraska soon, and that's about a 1800, 1900 mile round trip road trip that I'll be going on. Fingers crossed that I get a whitetail or maybe two. I want to take one with the rifle and with the bow. That would be amazing. Uh, enough chatting. I'm taking this thing in the morning. I've got to go get oil change, tires uh, balanced and rotated, and then uh, we'll be hitting the road to Nebraska pretty, pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you boys later. Take it easy. Peace.